Today we gonna show you 2024 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 hybrid exterior and interior details and review, and explain the details of the car. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The new Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Hybrid 4 Matic Plus has been unveiled, foregoing the mild hybrid drivetrain of its predecessor for a plug-in hybrid system with up 536 brake horsepower and 553 pounds FT of torque. Set for UK sale in 2024, the heavily facelift performance SUV is the first AMG model to receive the new petrol-electric system which includes a series of electrification developments already seen on parent company Mercedes-Benz GLE 400E 4Matic and GLE 350 4Matic. The GLE 53 Hybrid 4Matic Plus combines a newly developed version of Mercedes-AMG's turbocharged 3.0-liter straight-six petrol engine with a gearbox-mounted electric motor and a 31.2-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery. The reworked combustion engine develops 443 brake horsepower, and the electric motor contributes up to 134 brake horsepower to give a combined system output of 536 brake horsepower and 553 pounds FT a significant 87 brake horsepower and 170 pounds FT more than the earlier GLE 53 formatic plus by comparison the BMW X5 M60i and X6 M60i's mild hybrid drivetrain develops 523 brake horsepower and the same 553 pounds foot. Power for the electric motor is stored in a 31.2 kilowatt hour battery, the same unit used by the facelift GLE 400E and GLE 350D. It can be charged at up to 11 kilowatts on an AC charger and at up to 60 kilowatts on a DC system. The electric range is put at between 50 and 53 miles for the straight-backed SUV, and between 51 and 54 miles for the more aerodynamically efficient coupe version. The new plug-in hybrid system offers up to seven driving modes, comfort, sport, sport plus, smoothness, individual, electric and battery hold. AMG has yet to provide a weight figure for the GLE 53 Hybrid 4 Matic Plus, but it claims a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.7 seconds. This is 0.4 seconds inside the time quoted for the earlier GLE 53 4 Matic Plus. Top speed remains limited to 155 miles per hour. The official consumption is put at between 188.3 miles per gallon and 217.3 miles per gallon for the GLE 53 Hybrid 4 Matic Plus SUV and between 201.8 and 235.4 miles per gallon for the GLE 53 Hybrid 4 Matic Plus Coupe. CO2 emissions are 29-33 GKM for the SUV and 27-31 GKM for the coupe. Among the styling changes brought to the new AMG model is a new look front bumper with altered cooling ducts and new 21 inches wheels. The GLE 53 Hybrid 4 Matic also receives new hybrid badges within the front wings and at the rear. The brakes have also been upgraded with 400mm discs together with 6 piston calipers adopted up front and 370mm discs with single piston calipers at the rear. Inside, AMG has provided the new SUV with hybrid-specific displays and functions. They include a charging menu with graphics on charging status and the temperature of the battery. The letters AMG were once shorthand for freaking huge V8. Today, 
They mean anything from a 302 horsepower four-cylinder to a plug-in hybrid with 752 lbft of torque to a pair of electric motors good for a 3.0 second sprint to 60 miles per hour the only common thread running through mercedes sprawling performance portfolio now are the freaking huge brains behind the cars the technology alchemists in a falterback can seemingly transmute any combination of electric machines and mechanical widgets into pure speed. With the 2024 Mercedes AMG GLE 53, they've made gold from an inline six engine, a turbocharger, an electric supercharger, and a 48 volt electric motor. The GLE 53 is the mid-tier variant of Mercedes' mid-size SUV, but the 429-horsepower middle child clearly hasn't been forgotten by its caretakers. A refresh for the 2024 model year has delivered subtle upgrades for this SUV that didn't really need to be any better. The exterior changes are so minor that you could stage a spot the difference game if you park the new model next to the outgoing version. More meaningful improvements have been made, though, to the standard equipment list, and the engine output.